right, Elmar, here we are. Lovely Morris Williams Golf Course. You can see right here on Mainer Road, East Austin, right from downtown. Used to be right next to the old, uh, the original Miller Airport back in the day when you were, you were playing. And as we know through the, uh, the Catalan's General Store tour of Texas golf courses, you grew up in Austin, went to Crockett High School. So I assume you played this course quite a lot going on. I did. Uh, we had, you know, many, many junior golf tournaments over here. Uh, I was fortunate enough to come out on top of them, quite a few of them. Um, you know, a lot of ju good junior golfers, so I had a lot of good competition. Uh, a couple of my best friends that I grew up with uh, in my neighborhood as well. So a lot of good competition to, to make me strive to be better. Um, but, you know, good memories here. Uh, I had a college victory here. I think it was my first collegiate win that I had, the Harvey Pennock Invitational. Um, you know, and then just uh, growing up out here with all the good memories and Coach Hannon was uh, a staple out here working in the shop you know was, uh, this was his course after he retired well even when he was working as head coach at the University of Texas he was also working out here so uh, and he was very encouraging so just so many good memories. And George Hannon and they play the old George Hannon Cup now uh, a staple in Central Texas and when you're growing up you're in your 50s now I mean your choices were Lions or here or you know, Jimmy Clay. Jimmy Clay. Onion Creek came on, obviously, at mm -hmm. some point. But Jimmy Clay and was Kaiser there? Kaiser was not there at the time. Um, I don't think that came until after I finished college. Um, but you know, Jimmy Clay was my high school team's uh, home golf course. Uh, so you know, got to play a lot of golf out there. Lions and uh, Butler Pitch and Putt were my first memories of golf. <laughs> uh, so. Lots of uh, lots of good memories here in Austin with the with the municipal golf courses. Hancock, the nine-hole golf course, uh, Hancock um, Municipal as well. We had many junior golf tournaments there, and just uh, my mom worked close by, so at the at Seton Hospital, and she would drive me and a couple of my buddies in the morning before <laughs> on her way to work, and so we'd be there about two or three hours before our tea time, just chipping and putting and getting ready to go for the tournament. One of the luxuries of Austin. It's getting bigger, but you still have a great and robust municipal golf, city golf scene with all the courses we've talked about. Obviously, Gray Rock has come online. Uh, used to be Circle C, but that's now part of the municipal umbrella. They do a great job. They keep it affordable. There's you know, in all shapes and sizes and colors and genders out here, all age groups, and it really is what city golf is all about. Now, I did see a picture in there, Omar, of, of Harvey, Harvey Penick and uh, uh, Morris Williams on the same golf team in Texas in 1949. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> that is, that is, you know, and then uh, for Harvey to be to become the coach and the head pro at Austin Country Club, um, you know, just so much to, that gives uh, club pros to strive for. Absolutely. Don't believe everything you read. No one ever smuggles beer on the course. different from when I played it as a kid. They, they moved the green a little bit further right. It used to be a little more of a dog leg and a little bit shorter. They added about 20 yards, I think. But, uh, yeah, pretty good little par four making the turn. Maybe give you, after eating a big lunch or a little snack, you might be a little full, so it's giving you a little leeway here to, to get loosened back up. up out here and playing junior golf tournaments over here to uh, I guess my right where these little houses are being constructed this used to be the airport yes 
So the jets used to fly in really low, landing and taking off. And we used to, if you were playing, sometimes you had to wait, especially if you were over here on number 14, this par three, or number 11, because you had to wait till the jet fly flew over and then you would have to uh, let the jet wash pass you so it wouldn't affect your ball flight. It was pretty interesting. There were a lot of planes coming and going back in those days, that's for sure. What did you have that at? That was uh, about 125 yards. Just hit it a little smooth nine iron just to make sure it didn't get too high in the wind. Originally this green was more over in this area and then they built this big little power uh, place here and uh, had to power so, all the new houses. <laughs> yeah, so they had to move the green over. Well we got a birdie putt Omar. Yeah, pretty fortunate. Engaged the wind fine. Well, it looks like we got about a eight Eight footer here that breaks a little left to right. It's gonna be a little bumpy. Yeah, kind of saw that one bounce around a little bit, but we got a bar. Yeah. So, you know, playing junior golf, we had a lot of junior tournaments here growing up. Uh, one, I was fortunate enough to be able to win several of them. Uh, also, my first, uh, I think it was my first collegiate victory was here at the Harvey Pennock Invitational in the fall, back when I was attending the University of Texas. So, I have some good memories here. Uh, the course has been changed a little bit since, but it's still, you know, fairly, uh, fairly much the same. Just a couple of different holes here on the back nine. And to Omar's point, we still have airplanes that are now going to Austin Bergstrom. All right, we're here on uh, Morris Williams number five and one of the very few courses in all of Austin where you get a tee shot, or a, this would be your approach shot on a par five, with a uh, skyline view of downtown Austin. Uh, not many of those courses. Like, can you think of any others, Omar, that have the, the view of downtown? Which I know since you were a kid playing out here, it's changed quite a bit. Yeah, there's a little, there's a little <laughs> bit more built up there now, but uh, you know, there's might be one or two holes at Barton Creek where you might be able to see a little bit. Um, but for the most part, this is about the most you'll see from any of the golf courses. Here in town, and it's uh, it's a pretty pretty cool view, hitting hitting your approach shot into the green here at the fifth hole. So yeah, UT golf team, nineteen forty nine. Uh, you got Harvey Penick and Morris Williams on that team. <laughs> hey, thanks everybody. Uh, listen, remember, thanks to our friends at Callahan's General Store right there on uh, 501 Bastrop Highway, 183, which isn't far from Morris Williams, for helping us for our tour of Central Texas golf. There's a passion for the game here in Central Texas throughout our listening area. And people want to know more about the courses they're playing, where they came from, the history of them, uh, and we're trying to teach you that. And we thank our friends at Callahan's General Store.